I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So here we're looking at the uh, newest release of Windows 10 to date, version 20.04. And let's see if Windows 10 setup, or at least the out of box setup, ask um, any like really important questions about setting up your operating system. It used to be back, for example, in the Windows 7 days, when you want to set up um, your computer fresh out of box, or whenever you just finished installing an operating system, you would be asked important questions like, um, for example, setting the date and time of the computer. Well, with Windows 10, I think that's a thing of the past, but let's see here. Let's just see what it says. So, here's one thing I'm going to go and do, and I've already done it, is I've disconnected the network cable so that way it doesn't try to go and uh, force me to set up with a Microsoft account. Alright, so we'll go and get started here. Okay, make sure that's turned off. I don't have speakers or mic plugged up. But click yes. Select yes on that. Skip the keyboard. And it's going to want us to connect to the internet. I'm going to say I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. So it did ask us to connect to a, to a network. Now previous versions of Windows did do that as well. Like for example, um, Windows 7 did. We're going to go and set a username on this machine for for the uh, customer. So we haven't been prompted to set the date and time, but you know we're 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 being prompted about stuff like speech recognition, find my device, ink in and type, and advertising ID, tailored experiences, diagnostic data, and location. I mean, these are I mean, sure. I mean, I can understand being asked these things, but uh, why not be asked more important stuff like the date and time? Activity history, no. No, thank you. And we'll go ahead and skip this. Skip the hi, we're happy you're here. So when is 10 version 20.04? This is kind of an older system. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to kill OneDrive setup once it comes up. And we'll also go ahead and disable it from ever starting up again, at least until the next Windows update or or uh, platform up upgrade. And watch what happens. Um, well, first let me do a few more things here. Let's clear out. Let's get. Let's make some space on that taskbar. Turn off most of the notifications. Okay, we're going to plug in the uh, Ethernet cable and watch what's going to happen to the clock. So, yeah, it's late as it is, of course. You know me. Always up late working on stuff. Especially during the uh, pandemic. And it already. And this, is, this is what annoys me with Windows 10. Is throughout Windows setup, or at least out of box experience, it asked stuff like your advertising ID or want you to set up with a uh, set up with Cortana, among other things. But it never bothered to ask you uh, what the current date and time was or what time zone you're in. 
No, it just assumes that we're all on the west coast of the United States and sets it to Pacific time. Watch this. And it, it, it'll set your system clock to that, and then you have to go in and revert it back every single freaking time. So what gets me is how come they they this is it's been this way since Windows 8. Okay. Why is it taking what eight years? In, in eight years, because that was the year Windows 8 came out it was 2012. It's been eight years, and they still haven't got that figured out. What the heck? So anyways, what do you guys think about that? Doesn't that annoy you when you're setting up Windows 10, and you you're asked ridiculous stuff about your advertising ID or Cortana, but you're never asked to set the date and time on the computer? It just assumes you're on the west coast of the United States and sets it to Pacific time, and then you have to go in and change it back to whatever time's on your end. Crazy, isn't it? And what gets me is apparently it knows I'm in Eastern Time because it adjusts my clock three hours earlier and says I'm in Pacific Time. And they had to go in and change it back. And again, it's ridiculous. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that way we'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.